Right, as I mentioned, uh, because I've got a ton of spend replays, uh, spend sessions on my profile, you'd benefit a lot more from watching those. So it'd be better if you, if we actually focused more on the carry side of things and tried to ignore a little bit of spend. <clears throat> so first things first, as usual, when you're starting off, because uh, this is going to be a rank, so you know what before even jumping into the game, thank you. Uh, before even jumping into the game, you know what um, heroes your team has and the enemy team has, so you need to guess uh, what most likely situation is going to be in the off lane, and you want to know uh, what the worst possible scenario could be. So, based on off of this, uh, what do you think you're going to have in the off lane, and what is the worst case scenario? Uh, probably Jakero and Ricky or Slark. Probably not Slark, to be fair. Yeah, because Slark is in the carry lane. Yeah. Uh, looking at this, I think Jakiro will be the mid lane. Um, so you are, mo and also this guy is in the support safe lane. So uh, it's highly likely, judging by 1.2 KMR, that this guy is going to be going to the jungle. So you might most likely have this guy solo in your off lane. That's the most likely situation. However, right. there is a small likelihood uh, that it's going to be an LC in the off lane and with a Ricky in the offlane, in which case, yes, your item build is perfect. Right, You've okay. got plenty of regen, uh, so with Sven, you need uh, a mango. The only thing that I would say is you could have skipped out this Ironwood branch, you would have had a little bit of extra gold to buy your Quelling Blade from the side shop. Your loyalty will be rewarded. Is Quelling Blade essential on Sven, then? Is Absolutely. It just to help him last hit? Uh, no, it's okay. So for you, yes, it is uh, more for helping you last hit than anything else. But to be honest, what the uh, the essentialness or whatever the correct English word is <laughs> um, for the quelling blade is more of helping you um, clear out the waves much much faster, helping you farm much faster because a quelling blade allows you to hit forty percent more. 40% uh, harder, that means you clear every single jungle cab 40% uh, faster, you clear out when you're starting to push out the wave to farm more efficiently, if you look at my videos on Sven you'll be able to see how you can utilize the side camp with Sven um, if having a quelling blade will actually make you, allow you to do that so much faster, so yes quelling blade is essential for you every single game in fact, um, quelling blade is so essential that I'm actually telling you that it, it, instead of this Ironwood branch, it would have been better if you'd saved up the gold for a Quelling Blade. Uh, once again, you'll notice this same pattern in all of my coaching videos. I do tell people not to spend too many resources on uh, contesting the rune. Uh, resources means both items, health, and mana. Uh, you spend half of your mana uh, contesting the rune, securing... Uh, the rune for the this guy mid laner uh, Kunka yeah uh, even though you guys had a I uh, thought you had Jakira but Jakira is actually on the enemy team yeah so now uh, you were and you've ended up with having zero mana at all uh, you there was no way like there was so the only time you do want to spend this stun is if you can guarantee a kill like if it, let's say it was a Legion commander or a Jakira or, or somebody like that uh, over here. And then you use a stun and you know you get a kill and that's 400 gold first blood and all that stuff. So that's fantastic. But over here, you knew you weren't going to get a kill on the Slark. He's got two ways uh, to dispel it. It's very highly unlikely that he's going to level up uh, the essence ship from level one. So <coughs> you just spend half your half your uh, mana on a on a stun, which you ended up being uh, which ended up being completely useless. Now, looking at your lane, now you arrive in the lane and you find out, oh shit, there's actually a Jakiro in the lane. It's a bit worse than what I expected. It's actually not worse than you expected because you actually were expecting uh, Legion plus Ricky. And uh, to be very honest, Jakiro uh, is just as bad. So you have plenty of regen. You're going to be fine. And also he leveled up Dual Breath. Uh, at level one, which is really good for you. Now, as we mentioned before, your support should not be last hitting or denying or spending time with you. Your support should be either harassing this guy or stacking and pulling. So you are um, actually suffering here because your support is leeching XP from you. Not only is he leeching XP from you, but also he's not harassing the offlaner at all. This guy leveled up 
uh, fire breath. So if this uh, support plus you, if you guys zone this guy out, if you guys make sure he doesn't get level 2 anytime soon and he can't get that liquid fire, which is free mana, uh, 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 free spell, free damage, free harass off every single time. If you guys can make sure he doesn't get that, you will win the lane so easily. But you guys aren't, uh, unfortunately, not because of you, but rather because of the support, you guys aren't actually able to do that. He probably doesn't really understand that he has to, so it's fine. Um, so it looks like he is gonna keep throwing that harass on you. So it's it's fine. Now, uh, one thing that I do advise you to do if you are in a lane where your support isn't gonna be um, helping you support, and the off laner is gonna get get off zoned out, and the support isn't pulling and stacking or anything like that, then from very early on, level one, you should start pushing the wave out because uh, you don't want to keep creep equilibrium because it's actually hurting you to creep keep. Uh, Keep creep equilibrium. Um, the reason why you want to keep creep equilibrium is so that the offlaner is afraid to come here because the support is going to zone him out. And at the same time, the support is pulling and you're keeping creep, creep equilibrium, you're denying creep, blah, blah, blah. None of that is happening right now. This guy is getting all the XP he wants. So what you should do is you should just push out the wave. So instead of getting free farm, at the very least, he uh, he has to farm these under the tower. He has to take some harass because he's under the tower with a ho huge creep wave. And on top of that, what you can do is in, you can avoid actually getting this damage because then he's probably going to use liquid fire fire breath and all that uh on the creeps and the best thing is like right now you've sort of pushed out the wave it's 48 seconds what you should do right now is move over uh, do what this guy is doing you should move over here and pull this camp and you should tell this guy dude go over here and stack this small camp and pull it next time at 15 seconds so then what you're able to do is you're able to deny this entire creep wave and you're going to deny the next entire creep wave as well. You don't mind too much fighting under the tower, uh, last hitting under the tower, because you should have a quelling blade by now, and you have, um, <clears throat> and you have lots and lots of armor, and you have lots and lots of regen. So you're totally happy. Yeah, so you should have stood here. Now, this is a big mistake. What you've just done is you've just uh, given Juki... Oh, please don't tell me he's an idiot. He is an idiot. So what this what has what just has what has just happened is that your support has given Jakiro one free wave of uh, creeps, and he's given him a stack. So what Jakiro should have done instead of wasting his dual breath constantly on you, what he should have done is he should have thrown out a dual breath uh, when these creeps are about to die. So he gets what he does. What he does is he gets an entire creep wave, and he gets two. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 he gets a stack here, and then he pulls this stack, joins it with the uh, uh, oncoming creep wave, and he's actually able to deny uh, an entire creep wave to you guys, and he's able to get this entire stack as well. So this guy has done a really horrible thing here, <laughs> and he is gonna get come here and take the uh, gold from the creep wave, and <coughs> I guess he's at last inning, so. Not the best, but yeah, so you should definitely just be pushing out the wave. Now, your farm at 1.2k, you are aiming for the 35 to 40 creeps at 10 minute mark. So let's see how far you get um, on, on that front. Now, I bet you that if when we go into a 10 minute mark, when we see the CS, uh, nobody's going to have more than 30 CS, except this Legion commander who is jungling. So obviously she's going to get all the CS. And this is one of the reasons why junglers are so good in your bracket because they don't actually need to be skilled at last hitting that they are going to get every single last hit. Yeah, so see you sold that you sold that 100 gold worth of sorry 50 gold worth of a um, iron. ironwood branch and it hasn't really benefited you too much what I would have done is I would have planted that ironwood branch and eaten a tango to give me even more region because it is hard to lane against a Jakiro so you would have had uh, like 100 extra sorry 200 extra uh, yeah 100 extra 100 extra region 115 extra region which would have been pretty decent uh, now carrying on your last setting isn't too bad I guess uh, at 4 minutes in uh, you gonna have eight fours of thirty two creeps, and looks like you're gonna get the twenty three. Uh, it might be twenty four mark. Twenty three. So uh, instead of uh, thirty two, you've got twenty three. Let me just do a quick calculation. Twenty two 
33 divided by 32, it is 71%. So your farming efficiency is 71%, which is more like somewhere around 3.5 here at the moment. Uh, and right. I hope you yeah. carry on doing this because this is really, really good. Uh, usually people do tend to fall off. Yeah, I, I seem to just fight a lot and not really farm. Mm. Like this, what you did here, this was a big mistake because all Shakira really needed to do was turn around and throw a liquid fire onto you and you might have died. Uh, you probably would have died, actually. So that was a mistake on your end. Uh, you laid out the aggression on him. He panicked a little bit. He didn't know what to do. So he actually ended up uh, running away instead of actually turning around and fighting you. He might have died for it, but uh, an offlaner killing a carry, uh, that's definitely worth it. I think he might have actually even lived. Because uh, this guy wouldn't have actually been able to do much to him. He's just got level one in this, and I don't know. Regardless, he could quite he 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 could have killed you. Whether he lives or not is a, besides the point. As we mentioned, you should have gone for brown boots into um, helm. It would have allowed you to stack. Also, you put two points in armor. Um, I think that was uh, you put two points in armor. I think that was fine, but you put uh, one point in the in the greater cleave. That was a mistake. You want to hold off on the great pardon. You want to hold off on the greater cleave unless you plan to be constantly pushing. You're not constantly pushing. Uh, I did tell you to be constantly pushing, which you should have done, but at the moment you weren't. So in most games, you're not going to be constantly pushing. Um, so you want to hold off on the greater cleave. Now talking about the carry situation here um all i said to you about pushing and stacking and all that that applies to all carries that's something you should be doing with all carries sure you're not going to be able to push with other carries as fast as possible sure you're not going to be able to tank um uh, with other carries as as well as you will with uh, sven with warcry and all that but most other carries have other functions like such as slark slark can actually push out waves really quickly because of his um because of his nuke uh pa can actually tanks even better than sven because she's got evasion um, uh, Juggernaut can actually spin and clear out the wave really, really quickly or spin and clear out the uh, double stack really, really quickly. But what you do want to be doing is every time the wave comes in, uh, you want to push it out and you want to stack this at 53 seconds <clears throat> on every carry. Uh, and also ca carry, you want to have sustain. You always, always want to have sustain. This what you're doing right now. You are making two big, big mistakes, very big mistakes here. Uh, first mistake is that you are um, you are low on HP, uh, you are low on mana as well, but you have no HP re HP regen here at all, um, and you're not go anywhere close to getting your HP regen. And even if you do get the Iron Helm of Ironwell, you're way too low in HP right now to be able to regen up too quickly. So what you should do is you should immediately ferry out a um, Tango or Salve, any sort of regen. Uh, but you don't do that. That's one mistake. Second mistake is that um, this is a this is this farm is right here. You know, you already. I think you stacked this. I think you managed to stack this. And this is stacked, and this is gonna stay here for the next entire minute. But these five, these few four creeps here, this one hundred and eighty to two hundred gold, this is gonna disappear. And um, what you actually traded is you traded the hundred. What you could have done is you could have uh, gotten all four of these. Uh, could have pushed this out and then you could have come here and you could have taken this stack as well and you didn't even need to take this stack at 23 you could have pushed this wave uh, in the next 10 seconds or 12 seconds or 15 seconds you could have pushed this entire wave taken all of the gold and come here stack this at 23 and then you could have taken both of these while your creeps actually camped uh, 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 tanked for it so you wouldn't have taken any damage at all but what you ended up doing was you came here you have no HP regen you ended up using all your HP uh, for this camp, and you ended up using all your mana for this camp. Yes, you took this camp, but you wasted, uh, you traded this entire creep wave, which is more gold, by the way, than this camp. Um, you traded it, and that's just not good. And now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go all the way back to base uh, to regen up. And that's even worse. Maybe you take this farm, but now this CS is uh, it's going to show up in like look it's 24 gold 26 gold and these are even going to be less gold so that's 23 gold and then this is 22 uh, like look all of these all, all of this yes this uh six yes that you got here was half the cs that you would have gotten on in your lane so this shouldn't even be it says 40 but it's more like 37 
right right now uh, for you because those three creeps were worth half. <laughs> I mean, those six creeps were worth half the regular lane creeps. So you now you're go you're going all the way back to base. You're gonna miss out two entire. So you missed out that one creep wave. And you're gonna miss out two more creep waves. You missed out three creep waves, so that's uh, nearly 600 gold, uh, or rather, nearly 500. Uh, yeah, 550 gold that you missed out nearly in lane, uh, just because you ended up going here and taking this farm and doing it, playing a little bit inefficiently. And now, when we see, um, let me just check really, really quickly. At 80 times 0.7 is 56 here. So if you'd carried on being super efficient, let's see if you are uh, or 70% efficient, then you're looking for 56 CS. So let's see at 10 minutes in if you're able to break that 56 CS or if you actually, because of this movement, your efficiency actually fell behind. And to be honest, uh, after you get your uh, treads and your helm of iron will, your uh, farming CS per minute should actually increase because you can actually quite uh, effectively take more of the lane farm plus the jungle farm. So let's see if that happens. But regardless, as a carry, you want to be, you want to have uh, plenty of XP. Uh, sorry, you, you want to have plenty of regen, health regen, as well as mana regen. If you don't, you want to buy a uh, flat out regen like a tango or a salve. And you always want to have some sort of, um, some sort of uh, HP and mana regen item in your inventory as well, even if it's a small one. That's what Aquila is really. It's small stats, it's a mana regen for your carries, for your agility carries. And then they're always going to have some sort of HP region as well. And most carries are going to have like uh, the ring of health for that. Now, not sure why you threw a stun here. Like you, it almost seems like this guy is just annoying the shit out of you. And you got annoyed and you threw out the stun. So you don't want to be annoyed, right? You don't want to make bad decisions. This guy is full HP. There's no way you kill him. So not only did you use the stun, but you also used your ultimate. And now look at your mana again. You were fully mana. And you've lost like 240 mana. You lost like uh, two thirds of your mana, more than maybe two thirds of your mana, um, to use spells which are not going to benefit you at all, even just a little bit. Not even just a little bit. Sure, this guy went like, let's even see how far he lost. Uh, he lost like less than a fifth of his health. He lost like about 200 HP. Uh, and he has tranquil boots. So even if you hit him two or three more times, bring him HP down to half. It really doesn't un uh, bother him too much because he's got uh, regen. Whereas look at your region. You've even lost the mango. You have no mana region at this point. You have very, very measly HP region, which you're not going to get back anytime soon. He can actually keep throwing out liquid fire at you and keep harassing you and keep like making sure that you go back to base. And there's like, you're wasting. Once again, you're making the same mistake. Instead of taking the lane farm, you're here. You're taking this farm. Uh, Arguably, you could have made this decision because the Jakira was here and you would have taken more harass. But look at it this way. If you hadn't made that bad play earlier on, you would have lost all your HP and all your mana. Then you could have quite easily stood here and taken this farm, pushed out the wave, and then come here and take the uh, take more XP and take more farm, etc., uh, etc. Et Again, I said that. Need to stop saying that. <laughs> it's, it's really annoying for myself as well, I'm sure for other people. Anyway, looks like you are going to break that 56 mark, but that's only because you started jungling, which is excellent, which is really good. Yeah. But it, it doesn't mean your farming was actually really efficient. Because keep in mind, these jungle creeps, uh, although it says 60 CS, you are... Uh, let's look at the CS. Actually, first, I want to look at the kill score, because Kunkka, I think, has got you. Nope, so Kunkka is higher net worth than you. And uh, we're not going to talk about the Legion, because she was jungling. Yeah. So... Based off of this, you've got zero kills, zero assists, zero everything, and Kunkka has got one assist, two assists, but one death. So kills, kill gold wise, you guys have about the same, right? Uh, when I say about the same, is because he lost uh, almost as much yeah. gold as he gained. So, but we, if we look at the, uh, it's actually strange. Uh, if we look at the, god damn it, net worth. That is net worth. Where's the CS? Uh, you still have higher CS, so I don't know why he's got higher net worth than you. This is kind of mind-boggling. Did he actually get really uh, more gold from these assists? I guess he got how much? What is the... Oh, okay. So you guys are actually evened out nearly. You guys have almost the oh, same amount yeah. of... Uh, so he got the extra... little bit of extra. So he got like 40 extra gold. 
um, from the assists than he did from the last inning. But if you look at the CS, if you look at the CS, actually, this actually goes to show my point. You've got 13 uh, more CS than he does, right? 13 more. But you end up, so we're going to say that the gold he lost from uh, the deaths, from the one death, is the same amount of gold that he gained from the uh, from the assist. So he probably got like 100, 150 gold from each assist, and he lost about two, 250 gold when he died, right? Roughly. Um, so it's really the, the, the difference between your networks or almost equal, having equal networks. It's just a farm. Now look at your CS. He's got 13 less CS than you, but he's the same amount of net worth. It's because you were farming jungle, while his farm is all lane farm. Uh, you've got 13 CS, which is ob probably like 20 creeps, 20 gold per creep, or even 10 gold or 7 gold, some of them per creep. It's just not a lot. It's just not a lot. So you, you and, and it was times where you could have actually taken that lane farm instead of, um, instead of that jungle farm. Oh, Kunga is in your team as well. That's really good for you. Okay. Missed it. Yeah. Why I am think I watching? He also Kunga? misses the boat, though. If this <laughs> is the time. I wouldn't be surprised. And he's probably gonna die as well. There it is. Uh, he didn't even. He did get the boat off at the very least, so he's gonna survive there. I, if he hadn't thrown out the boat, he would have died. Right, where are you? Right. Um, you keep it back to base. I'm not Should sure where you keep it. Or, uh, no, I mean, no, you, uh, you, you TP'd back to base, so that was fine. Um, right. But you could have used a war cry to get back into the lane. And you really want to use Warcry as often as possible when you're uh, going from jungle camp to jungle camp. And you really need uh, some more mana region because you're going to be using, you're going to spam out, spam Warcry constantly. You constantly want to be spamming out Warcry. Nice. Ulti. Oh, that's nice. That's a free slark kill. Nicely played. But now you need to get back because you don't want to, you, 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 as a carry, your main priority is not dying. Number one priority is not dying. And number two priority is farming. Uh, you're doing a pretty decent job of farming, but you uh, are risking dying quite a lot. Like uh, up up yeah. over here, you risk dying. And then farming jungle, you risk dying. Over here, this was a bit of a risky situation. You don't know where Ricky is. The enemy team was, some of them were off the map. They could have keep Eden and uh, helped this Legion commander. You were kind of diving under the tower, so you're playing very risky. Wow. You're playing very riskily. Now, what you're doing right here is also a bit of a mistake because you're, as we said, your number two priority is farming, not pushing towers. Uh, that is that is something that will come when you are maybe 4K around 4K. Your job is to farm. So you, uh, yes, you should, you can be around your teammates, which I don't think is a good idea because you're not fight ready. You don't have items to fight, and not only that, but you don't even have the skills to be, uh, not skills, but like mana <laughs> um, abilities. Uh, to be able to fight either. So what you could have done is, even if you have the stun available, and if you have full HP, full mana, and you want to be close to your team, then you could have been farming this, then you could have been farming this, and your team takes the tower, maybe they start pushing, then you go and farm this. If they're not pushing, they're backing off, then you just back off from here, and you go here, or you TP top, and you farm these uh, your jungle, but you need to be farming. You don't bother <coughs> right-clicking the tower. Yeah, that's not going get, to get you much. Like, you, right now, you're going to have to um, contest this tower uh, between two other heroes, both of whom are cores, and a bunch of creeps. And I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I want to bet a creep is going to take the kill. Oh, I lost. You actually took it. <laughs> so, like, it was it was a close one. Like, any either the cores or, even more likely, one of the creeps could have taken the, the last hit. Uh, and you got how much gold for the tower kill? I think it's about 300. I think it's 300 or 200 yeah. Uh, something like that. Uh, uh, 330, 322! Three, three, two, two. Oh god, you lost. You got 322 gold. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you could have been farming this whole time. Uh, get, get, you, get you lot, 
lots more uh, lots more gold and stuff. <laughs> oh, wow, look, you've got full HP now. I mean, full mana. <coughs> so now you've got full mana, full HP, almost. Uh, you've got your skills ready, everything is ready. Uh, so now you can take part of team fights if you want. Uh, I'd still advise keep farming uh, close to your team, sure, but uh, wait for something like this perfect situation to occur. So you ulti in, you stun. Um, you could have right clicked this guy, would have helped. Uh, like, oh, you missed. Ooh, okay. Um, small things, really, really, really small things here. You stunned, that was perfect. Instead of going all the way where you went, you should have just hit Legion Commander. You would have killed this guy anyway. You would have hurt this guy so much more. So much more. Like, look at that one. Okay, that was also the boat. Never mind. It wasn't just you. <laughs> uh, uh, that was one thing. Uh, you would have still at least done, let's see, 92 plus 20 is 110. Actually, wait. LTE, here we go. Uh, so you're doing about 210 damage to. Uh, everybody so this guy this guy has 400 damage so two hits if you literally you had the time as well you could have actually gotten this lion kill i'm pretty sure you could have gotten this lion killed two hits is all he was left with uh, let's see that was one hit that you did here and if you go hadn't gone here all the way over here then you could have gotten the one hit as two hits. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could have killed Lion. But even if you didn't, instead of running at, over at the LC, you should have gone over to the Lion. You should have right-clicked Lion. Again, two hits and he would have died. These guys are already chasing LC. Nobody's chasing the Lion, though. And the Lion is the easier target to kill anyway. And the LC has invis, which I didn't even... Uh, but, like, we never ne even clicked on his items to check it out. But it's fine. No no biggie. You should have gone for the Lion. He's a squishier target. You want to keep the sport, sport, supports behind. You make sure line never gets a blink dagger in this game, and you will win the game almost. Not really, just based on that, but like it, it'll be a lot better for you. But if, if line gets a blink dagger, he's gonna be a big annoyance for you. Like when you go on somebody, line is just gonna hex you, and then they're all gonna kill you. So that's uh like these small, weak, squishy supports will, you know, they go a long way with just a little bit of gold. So you want to keep them, you know, keep them behind. Look at that. Instead of this, at this time where they were focusing Lion, imagine if you'd killed Lion that time, then this would have, wouldn't have happened, most likely. <coughs> and your team probably doesn't know that you can't actually damage under Winter Vibrance Ultimate. Uh, your item progression has slowed down quite a bit. Now let's look at the gold yeah. now. You, you had 56 gold at 10 minutes. Four minutes, five minutes later, you've only had ten more creeps, and same goes for gold. Like you've had this, you've had this item build since I don't know eight, nine minutes in, and your next item is just not coming up, and that's only because you are fighting. Yes, fighting puts the enemy team behind, but your team doesn't really need you, and your team really needs you to farm right now and get those items up and be beneficial into the late game. And this goes for every single carry. If you're fighting a lot now. I don't suggest only farming. I do suggest fighting, but only fight once you're ready to fight. Uh, you shouldn't have been fighting right now. You should have been close to your team, getting all the farm in the you know jungle. And like that fight right here that happened here. Yeah, that's that's good. That's take part in that fight. But after that, go back to farming. Uh, this is why blink dagger is really good because you could have been farming this as soon as the fight happens. You immediately blink and take part of that fight in that fight without risking dying or anything like that. Uh, Echo saber isn't going to allow you to do that. But really, you want to be farming constantly. You get your Echo Saber or Blink Dagger, which is which. When you get that one item, then you look for a bit more uh, team fight situation, uh, slightly less. Um, what do you call it? Focus on farming and add a little bit of more focus to the to the fighting. But more really, you just want to be uh, you just want to be farming. Now, a big thing that I haven't spoken about all this game is the fact that you did go Helm of Dominator, but you I didn't know, not used it. Yeah, that is something that um, you need to practice. It's something that's going to come with practice. It's the easiest thing in the world if you just spend some time, go into the custom lobby, and go into the custom lobby, go and spend uh, one hour, two hours just stacking creeps. You know, um, farm, pick Sven, have zero enemies, zero bots. Uh, just farm in the lane, uh, start zero minutes in, start off with the Helm of Dominator, and just stack stack camps and stack five camps uh go in take them 
come back, stack camps, and every time five camps, go and take him, go and take him. That's it. Just keep doing that. Just do that for, even if you do that for one hour, you will never forget it ever again. That's it. And then once you play a game, uh, five or six games, you can just make it into a habit because there will be sometimes you're taking fights and it's time to stack. Obviously, you're not going to stack, but when you're not taking fights, at least you should always remember and you should make it into a habit. Now, that's something that I don't do a lot either because I don't actually pick play a lot of uh, heroes who do stack. So what I usually do is I usually end up sharing my creep with uh, one of my supports and um, usually actually all of the team. And I just tell the people, guys, can you just stack for me? Uh, and usually they do. But if you, in your games, that's probably not going to happen. And if you tell your team, they're probably going to stack improperly. So you're betting off just better off just practicing it yourself and doing it yourself. But you do want to practice it. Is my ability build okay at the minute? Or do you like to go uh, far in Storm Hammer? No, no, no. The ability build is fine. In fact, I'll leave the Storm okay. Hammer this much. Uh, all the way up to level uh, 20, 22, 23, 24, okay. yeah, 23 is when I'll actually level up this uh, second point. Because that level extra damage is just not that big, because you're still getting two points, two, two uh, second of the stun, and um, having an extra bit of, having 20 extra HP, uh, two extra damage, is two extra damage is not that much, but having that extra 40 HP actually, uh, and Sven has low mana, having that 24 extra mana per point, uh, it is it is a little bit, it is quite a bit. It's a bit more than having a little bit extra gold damage in the stun, it's not that much. Especially because you're not exactly spamming out your stun either, so... It's not, you're not, re you don't really care about the damage from your stun. Uh, 